All right, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, I am going to walk you through how to uh, get your trumpet out of its case for the very first time, and then also how to oil the valve. So there's a couple things I want you to be able to tell me and show me in our first lesson. First of all, uh, this is my second go at this. We'll see how it goes uh, with my internet connection. And I was going to teach you how to at least get that very first sound like we did uh, when we tried out the instruments. Remember, we got that uh, that buzz, the M er kind of buzz sound and on the mouthpiece. Uh, and I was going to get you uh, playing your very first note. However, my dog is not a huge fan of the trumpet, I have discovered. So uh, we're going to go with how to put your instrument together um, and then how to oil your valves. OK, so a couple quick things. You luck out and you have one of the easiest instruments to put together. You have two parts, that's it. You open up your trumpet case, you have a trumpet. Wonderful, great, that's pretty easy. And then you have a mouthpiece, okay? So um, those two things are the only things you need to be able to play your trumpet. Um, couple things with the parts of the trumpet, okay? Um, so you have a little U hook here, okay? And then a circle key or uh, ring over here. Okay, so there's basically two rings that you're going to have. You probably have all three of these like valves showing, and that's fine. Um, mine's just covered. And yeah, my trumpet's silver. Yours probably isn't. Yours is probably gold, but that's okay too. All right, so uh, first thing, how do I actually hold my trumpet so I make sure that I'm holding it correctly? Okay, um, the thumb, your left thumb. So let's go over. Uh, remember, I know it might be weird in a video, but if you do this and look down, the L for left is in your left hand. Okay, so left is the one that's going to do it. Um, and your thumb goes in that weird U hook and then wraps around and either does this, depending on the size of your hand, or bring finger in here, second finger in here, whatever's more comfortable for you. I tend to hold mine like that but your hand might be a little bit smaller to be able to hold the trumpet. That is what holds all of the weight of the trumpet, okay? What happens is a lot of people try and like hold the weight uh, with their other hand as well. And then we end up playing a little bit weirdly or we put too much pressure on our face and can't quite get the right sound that we need to. So the left hand is the one that's going to hold the bulk of the trumpet. Now the other part, then I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see on the other side, I'm still holding it with my left. My right hand is going to rest one, two, three. So if I'm facing down one, two, three on these keys or these valves, okay? So one, two, three is where they're resting. And if you see my thumb just kind of goes underneath here. This little hook, yes, it's created for your pinky. However, when you first start playing, I really try and get you to not use it because again, you put your pinky here, you push into your face, and then you're doing yourself a disservice later in trying to build the muscle to be able to play as opposed to um, just resting your pinky and being able to move your fingers real fast because eventually you'll need to move them fast. We use a combination of one, two, three in different combinations to be able to create sound, okay? So that's how you hold it. And then the mouthpiece goes right on top there. That's a pretty easy one. Great, you're set and you're good to go. Now, the, the three things that I want you to be able to tell me in your first lesson are going to be the three parts of your trumpet. Now, I said you have the easiest thing uh, as far as putting it together. You have the easiest instrument as far as putting it together. You'll see clarinets having to put all these different parts together, but you have three main parts to your trumpet. The mouthpiece, which we've talked about in uh, figuring out what we wanted to play, that goes in this top little shank here, okay? So the mouthpiece is how you create the buzz sound. These one, two, three valves, okay? And they move up and down. And then the bell. The bell is actually one of the most important parts, especially for brass instruments, because that is where your sound will come out. Okay, so there's three parts again. We have the mouthpiece, we have the valves, and then we have the bell, all right? So those three are the things that I'm gonna test you on in your very first lesson. So you, uh, so I know if you did your homework and you actually watched this video to know what those three things are. Okay, the second thing that we're going to talk about is how to oil your valves. Now I'm gonna show you the basic way of doing it and I'm gonna give you a little bit um, more instruction when you come in uh, to school, but these valves, they move 
up and down, like I said. Now, the reason they move up and down and they move up and down well is because we oil them. Your trumpet came with oil, okay? Yours might be a different color, it might be a different shape, any of that, uh, but your trumpet most likely, uh, if you rented, uh, came with oil. And I've showed you that in school as well before. So um, that oil is super important to put on your valves every once in a while to make sure that they move. Now, when I say put on your valves, you're not gonna put them on top. So let's see how we do it. This top part, okay, I am just gonna take the very first one just to show you. This top little thing does unscrew, but I don't want you to unscrew that one, okay? So the part that actually pushes down the very top does unscrew, but we're not looking at that one. We're looking down at the second one here. Okay, that second one is going to twist. Okay, there we go. And unscrew. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey, if you've ever heard that one. Okay, but that totally unscrews to the point where that part moves. That's how we want to unscrew that valve. Now, I'm taking this out. Do not do this. I just want you to watch this part. I'm taking this whole valve out so you can see it. That whole valve comes out. And do you see those holes? Okay, that is what lines up with the spaces in the valve to be able to line up when we push it down for the air to go through or not go through. And that's what creates the different sound. So that's why it's important to have your valves lined up. Now, how do you line them up? Well, this little part of your valve, there's a little plastic part, maybe if it's an older one, it has a metal part and a spring. That part moves up and down and that's how we get that movement. Okay, so for you to be able to oil your valves and be able to take care of your trumpet, there are two key components, okay? The valve oil, which I showed you, okay? And a trash can, okay? Please do not make a mess in whoever's house you're living in right now, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever takes care of you, dog, I don't know, but don't make a mess uh, in all of their stuff. This valve oil, smells one first of all don't smell that that's weird you'll smell it enough when you just uncap it but um the oil itself it is messy and it kind of can stain your clothes so i always oil my valves and this is going to be true in school over a trash can okay so this is the cap of that i would take that off but what i'm going to show you is how to do this first and then i'm going to show you how easy it is to get the oil out of here okay so uh, I'm holding this up not over trash can right now because it is a little difficult to do this in a video. However, uh, if I'm balancing this right and the way you're going to oil your valve is you're going to take once you un unscrew that bottom part, you're only going to pull out to that bottom part that's bigger with the holes. OK, you're not pulling the whole thing out. Why? Because when this goes in, if you just screw that on and you don't actually twist it to where it needs to be, you won't be able to make a sound, okay? So that little plastic thing, when it's in here, will be twisted until it can't move. So if I move this up here and it's not lined up, I can move it until, ooh, look at that, I can't move it anymore, okay? That's how you know it's lined up. So that's the reason when you first start, I want you to just hold your valve right here, hold it up, and then you're going to take the oil and just oil right here on that bottom part, not on that top part, just on that bottom part. Okay, now the reason I only did that and showed you with cap on, I'm gonna show you, maybe, we'll see. There's a trash can with a lid that probably wasn't overly smart, but all right, so in this, okay, if I do this over a trash can, I am not squeezing this, I'm not uh, really making a big deal. I only am holding this upside down and look at that, there's a drip, okay? I don't have to squeeze it. I don't have to really force it to come out. Guess what? Gravity does its thing and it just naturally comes out pretty easily. So when you hold your valve, right? And maybe even resting this on your lap is a much easier thing. I can't do that because it's video, but this will just go upside down. Let it get one drip there and done, okay? Now this will go back in that goes down and you're going to take that top that I said not to unscrew and you're going to turn that to the right until it does not move anymore. If you're turning, 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 maybe it's not down far enough. Okay, so make sure it's down, turn it and it stops, okay? And then once it locks in there, take your bottom one you unscrewed and screw it back together, okay? Now, those are the basics. I like to move it then a little bit just to get the oil 
uh, to move in there in that piston part. Uh, but those are the basics of oiling your valve. I will show you much more um, in lining them up and all that stuff in school. But again, remember just to quickly review the three parts of the trumpet that I want you to tell me. We've got the mouthpiece, we've got the valves, and we've got the bell where the sound comes out. All right, so those three things are what you're going to tell me for your first lesson. And then you're going to show me your valve oil and how to at least unscrew your very first valve so we can oil it together. And hopefully you don't make a mess. All right, good luck, everybody.